By far the biggest misconception in solar is that when the grid goes down, because a home has solar power, you know, from the sun, that they're, they're gonna have power when the grid's down. Unfortunately, with a standard solar system, that's just not the way that it works. Actually, when the grid goes down, a solar system has to have what's called rapid shutdown. Um, it's part of the NEC, the National Electric Code um, requirement uh, for a system. And so the microinverters actually have rapid shutdown built in. So when they sense that the grid has lost power, they will actually rapid, rapidly shut down with a couple, within a couple milliseconds. Um, so that a customer's not putting power onto the grid, you know, when somebody's out there working on the lines. So it's a safety factor. Um, when the grid is down, um, your solar system will shut down. With the Enphase IQ8 microinverters that just came out, they just came available as of about a month ago. They actually have a setup that they call Sunlight Backup, where for the first time in history, it is now possible to utilize your solar power directly when the grid's down. So that is an added expense, you know, for a system, but it, it is now ca uh, possible to run your home directly on your solar power when the grid's down. Yeah, so for customers who, are, who do want backup power, um, there's a couple different options. There are generators um, that you can get for a home. A generator is not a green energy solution, uh, but it's definitely a more robust backup solution for customers who want to potentially even run their whole home when the grid's down. So there's a couple different options there that, that we offer and that we, that we install. And then on the battery side of things, um, there's a handful of different brands, um, different sizes that a customer can get um, based on what they want to, you know, to run when the grid's down. Whether that be the whole, the whole home, maybe just their essential appliances, or maybe just some lights and chargers and things like that. You know, in Texas, you've seen the, the rolling blackouts that happen due to certain you know, areas of the grid being overloaded. You know, just at the end of the day, you know, it's electrical components, you know, things, transformers can go out, storms happen that bring electrical lines down, which requires, you know, the grid to go down. And then sometimes just standard, standard maintenance as well. So there's a lot of different things that can bring a grid down, you know, so for customers who are looking into backup power, you know, in my mind, it's, it's kind of like insurance. You know, we have insurance on pretty much everything that we do in our lives, but a lot of people out there, you know, they don't have any, they don't have backup power. So when the grid's down, you know, they don't, they don't have the ability to run lights or charge their phones or still run their internet, you know, or have um, heating and cooling um, for their house. So the way I look at it, it's, it's kind of like an insurance policy to make sure um, when the grid does go down or if it goes down um, that you're, you're able to, you know, survive and have the kind of essential, um, you know, essential things that you need in your life.